First thing is first, I have launched a new website which is all the singular brand of Sean Vlog under my YouTube banner and it is www.seanvlog.com Go and check it out, let me know what you think. Big banner, have you subscribed yet? I hope you guys have, obviously. We're gonna go out exploring, taking some autumn photos that I've been meaning to do for a long time. The trees are popping, nice colors. So we're gonna head out, I don't know, we're gonna head down towards Gifford, which is not far from here in Edinburgh, about 20 minute drive. Should be nice. Hey Prince, hey Prince. Hey. Hey. Thanks. Hey. Part of my creepy October Halloween special series is continuing. I don't know if you guys will remember, but a, but a couple of years ago, one of my first ever YouTube videos, we came to a place called Goblin Hall, which is a really secluded dungeon, castle, scary place in the middle of East Lothian. It's all abandoned and stuff in the woods. I've come back here with my dad. He's going to fly his drone, and my feet are soaking wet. That'll teach me for wearing just vans. Oh, it's so cold. Creepy stories about Goblin Hall that it was built by a guy who was quite um, a noble person in his time. He was a necromancer. Built this chamber underground with the assistance of an army of goblins. That's pretty scary to think about that, but that's uh, that's the story about Goblin Hall. I'm actually listening to some happy, cheerful music in my ear right now on my headphones because it's quite dark here and uh, I felt a bit creeped out the last time I came but it's an interesting place I thought it'd be cool to do a recap on the vlog I'll link to the first one I ever did, it was quite a bad quality video as I would say it was one of my first ever kind of vlogs if you like a couple of years ago it wasn't that good but The sign doesn't particularly fill me with confidence. Yester Castle is the name. I need to get myself down there. Not sure I'm going to go down there. Chris, these woods are really like something from the Blair Witch Project. Wow. Spooky, spooky. Don't really want to be staying here too late. It gets quite dark early at this time of year. I need to need my torch for this. Got my trusted iPhone. That there is the door my dad's going through. Dark chamber. I'm all alone now, so I have to go in. Somebody's kicked the door down. Let's head in. Wow. Good thing my dad's up ahead. Oh my god, there's candles on through here. It's cold enough to get the breath coming in the camera. Okay, that's weird. Somebody has. Laid out candles in this place. Let me see. Candle. Candle, candle. The thing is, right, a lot of people come here and like practice witchcraft and stuff. So that's why they, they bring their candles and they do seances and play the Ouija board and all that kind of crazy stuff. What a beautiful building this is though. I would never ever attempt to come here myself, my dad is here, so not so bad. See, put candles to the entrance of that door. Okay, that is a place down there. Wow. There are down there, if you look down, I don't know if my phone can reach, there you go. There is a stairwell. Now, I know, because I have been down, there's a dead end down there. Uh, but I don't like it. It's a dark, deep set of stairs that goes to nowhere, and I just don't like it freaks me out, so I'm not going down. But what an absolute goblin hall, this is such an incredible, amazing building.
quite a narrow entrance here, so you have to duck, basically. Ah, back out into fresh air. This is one of the original hallways into the castle. What a place. It was actually part of the Yester Castle. This is the castle on which, on top of what the chamber was built here. It still has its original chamber here. It's quite a special place. I should say, right, a lot of the land around here is private, so it's farmyards, and golf courses, and all that kind of stuff. However, in Scotland, there's no such thing as trespassing. So if you're trying to get from point A to point B, you can legitimately cross the land as long as you don't do any damage, leave gates closed, be respectful of the land. Basically, you'll be alright. Nobody can tell you otherwise. You're not allowed to park your car on private property, obviously. Right, we're done with Goblin Hall for today. We're gonna go back to the town of Gifford. Collect my mum, take her. I'm not sure, I can hear a flock of geese somewhere really close here. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but they're really loud. This is the town of Gifford. And the local bar, restaurant, pub here is called the Goblin Hall after, named after the, the place we were just at. It's just here. See? Mum, George, Pekka. High Street of Gifford. Beautiful little town. What a beautiful path of all the trees, autumn colours. What a crazy, crazy turn of events, but that's that's Scotland for you. Scotland, the weather here never plays by the rules. Look at this. Guys, I just saw something that's going to take me back to my back to my childhood youth for the zip wire. <laughs> Nothing going on here. It's like the place where time stood still, to be honest. Absolutely silent. Yeah. 